So the final clock speeds for the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G and the Ryzen 3 3200G APUs have been unveiled by none other than Tum Apisak over on Twitter. The processors, which are part of the AMD Ryzen 3000 series Picasso family, will be hitting the market shelf soon and will be compatible with all AM4 socketed motherboards. The AMD Ryzen 3000 series APUs are based on the 12 nanometer FinFET process and feature the Zen Plus core architecture. While Zen Plus cores have been available on Ryzen 2000 series processors, the previous APU lineup, which was based on the 14 nanometer Zen cores. With Picasso, AMD is now bringing the updated Zen Plus cores to APUs on the desktop platform. There are two processors which will be part of the Picasso family. Again, that's the Ryzen 5 3400G and the Ryzen 3 3200G. Now the Ryzen 5 3400G is a quad core part in, well, with eight threads with SMT enabled with four megabytes of L3 cache and a Vega 11 GPU with 704 stream processors and a TDP of 65 watts. The processor would feature clock speeds of 3.7 GHz base and a 4.2 GHz boost, which is a good uplift over the Ryzen 2000 series APUs in terms of pricing. We can expect the chip to fall around the $150 US mark or lower. The second chip, the Ryzen 3 3200G, is again a quad-core part, but this one lacks SMT and will be a four-threaded part as well, which means that multi-thread performance is not quite as good, but we should expect a lower cost for this part well under the $100 US dollar range, making it a very good option for budget builders. Now this processor will feature Vega 8 GPU with 512 stream processors and a 65 watt TDP with four megabytes of L3 cache, and the clocks for the Ryzen 3 3200G are rated at a 3.6 GHz base and a 4 GHz boost. Now the GPU portion of that one, so the Vega 8, will be looking to sit around 1250 MHz, which is a good lift over 1100 of the 2200G and puts it in line with the clock speeds of the 2400G, which should result in a pretty good performance on the graphics side of the equation. We've already seen some early leaks regarding the Ryzen 3000 series APUs with one user even failing at an attempt to delid the Ryzen 3 3200G engineering sample showing that it was soldered. The process of delidding did unveil a gold plated solder under the IHS which should deliver better thermals and overclocking results compared to the first generation Zen based Ryzen APUs which thermals was a bit of a problem with those because they use the thermal interface material rather than solder and even in my testing I found that it got Toasty. So that'd be something I'll look forward to testing if I can get my hands on one of these pretty close to launch. While the specs may not seem like much of a change, it should be known that the AMD Picasso generation of APUs was always meant to feature the Raven Ridge design while adapting Zen Plus cores for performance and power uplift. The AMD Ryzen 3000 series APUs have been announced for notebook platforms and now we're going to see them in action on the desktop AM4 platform as well. As an avid APU enthusiast who loves to see how much we can squeeze out of these tiny parts, I have to say I'm really not necessarily too excited about these. Sure the CPU side of the equation gets a boost, but the GPU side of things does seem to be getting a little bit of a boost and that should help for those who are afraid of doing a little bit of overclocking. The CPU portion will obviously help the day-to-day -day task operations of the CPU and help a bit when upgrading to a dedicated GPU. Maybe I'm being a bit pessimistic here, but we'll definitely see how things shake out when these parts land on store shelves before long. We'd love to hear from you guys on this one, and before anyone panics a bit over the naming, this was the same way with Raven Ridge. If you recall, it was, well, a 2000 series chip, even though it had Zen first generation Zen cores in it. And even with the A series before that, with an internal lag and keeping up with the numbering structure, so they were always somewhat of a generation behind. Something to keep in mind before you have a little bit of a moment over it. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.